So my PC has been crashing and restarting for the past three weeks and uh, initially I thought it was a GPU problem and I've put out one video, you can watch it up there somewhere, but it turns out I was wrong in my initial assessment. It wasn't my graphics card and today I'm going to be showing you how I troubleshot the whole thing and what I found to be causing the problem because it was driving me absolutely crazy. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey Nim and welcome, this is Ash from Hilmai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Now, I've got something running in the background, I hope my camera person is catching that. This is Yunjin Valley, and usually when I was running this benchmark, including also Furmark and uh, some other benchmark, I've got some uh, hardware failure issues, it would crash and restart. And if I'm correct right now, this Yunjin Valley at some point is going to crash and restart my whole PC, okay? So I've put up a couple of community tab uh, and uh, I'm going to give you the results but just to remind you that this is being shot in one uh, uh, basically take because I don't think I can edit this video and if you want to find out the reasons why go and check out the video up there. So hopefully this will be the last time I'm going to be uploading an unedited video unless it's intentional obviously. So in the community post tab I asked you guys what do you think could cause a PC specifically in my uh, problematic uh, issue to crash and restart. And I had to divide the 10 uh, issues that we did in our troubleshoot series, you know, the 10 components or 10 parts which makes a PC not work correctly. So we had to subdivide it into, there you go. And my PC just crashed. I hope my camera person has uh, picked this up. So this is during Unigine Valley, okay? So uh, while I kind of stop this and I'm going to tell you, um, or oh, it's restarting. Let it restart, I'm going to tell you. So the five categories that I put up because the community tab would not allow me to put more than uh, five uh, was, is it the PC case? Is it a power issue which could be AC or power supply and DC? Is it uh, the motherboard uh, CPU RAM combo? That's three. Four would be, would it be the GPU? And five, would it be the disk or operating system? So you guys voted and 6% said it was the PC case. 13% uh, said it was a power issue, right? 50% uh, said it could be between the motherboard, CPU or RAM. The GPU, only 21% said it could be the GPU, although I did mention it wasn't the GPU uh, because we did some tests. And finally, 10% um, said it could be a disk drive issue or the operating system, all right? And I'm going to uh, give a shout out to one, I, I think he's a guy, the She Beast. Okay, I'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl. You came very close and you actually said you think it's a power issue because of the symptoms. And guy, she beast or girl, whatever, you are correct. It is absolutely a power issue. Now, I missed this and I'm going to give you the reasons why. I did an initial cross swap of the power supply. Unfortunately, because I was doing various tests, at the time when I went into my BIOS, it was on a overclock profile, the built-in overclock profile from Asus, which is why my PC restarted when I swapped with a different power supply, which is this one. So I did not check the BIOS at that stage. Afterwards, when I was continuing the test, I actually found that the profile was on an overclock profile and I reset everything back to default values. So that was me mistakenly not doing a test properly. It was definitely a power supply issue. And I'm going to show you now, like you've seen, um, this kind of restarted. So I'm going to switch this off. I'm not too worried about to switch this off like that. So if you want to come forward, I'm going to show you what we've got here quickly. This case is the Fractal Design R5 Black Pearl, very good case. We've got a power supply CX750M, it's a semi-modular power supply, it's currently powering the whole system. We've got a GPU, which is the R9380 4GB DDR5 RAM, VRAM, sorry. 16GB of DDR3 RAM. We've got a cooler aftermarket from Cooler Master, the Hyper 212, very um, popular one. And underneath there we've got an AMD FX 8350. The motherboard is from Asus 970 Pro Gaming Aura. I had connected one, two, three, four different hard disk drive and one operating system on this SSD, which is 500 gigabyte from Toshiba. And then there's also a DVD drive. Okay, so that was the basic gist of it. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to test the power supply, one of the method. And if you come over, and what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the mains. 24 pin, right? 
We're also going to disconnect the 8 pin CPU plug. And we are also going to disconnect the 6 times 2 uh, PCI pin for the graphics card. And obviously, we're also going to disconnect the SATA connector for the power, right? Now, if you're in doubt, please be careful when uh, going into any electronics because it can be dangerous. I'm used to doing this and I'm actually just going to reconnect the 24 pin plug into the motherboard because we're going to power this off. All right. And while I'm doing this it might take a bit of a while. I'm going to tell you the mistakes I've done when trying to diagnose. So the first thing I said was that I was not thorough enough with my diagnosis and test of the power supply. And we have done a couple of videos on the channel. We actually did quite advanced troubleshooting with a multimeter. OK, go and watch that. So the point to bear in mind, the power supply can actually be the cause for a lot of problems. Right. Right now, I'm connecting the SSD, right? Because we've disconnected every other drive. And I should be using the SATA, otherwise it won't work. And uh, we also have to connect the PCI to the graphics card, which I'm doing. And after this, the last thing that's remaining would be the CPU plug, the eight pin. So I'm connecting that. Do you want my camera person should come just to show them we are connecting everything in there. And uh, that I do apologize about the one shot. So there you go. We got GPU connected, SSD, uh, 24 pin, and then the CPU with a new code. Okay. Now we're gonna power it off again. Power it on again, and I'm gonna run the same benchmark. Oh, obviously, we also have to power the power supply. Doesn't work without power. Who knew? Write that down. Right, we're gonna start it and it's gonna boot up. Hopefully, we're gonna go back into Eugene Valley. So, the mistake I did with I was not thorough enough with the power supply. Okay, I should have tested for much longer and checked my profile in the uh, BIOS, but I did not at the time. So, I mistakenly thought that when I actually plug this in, it actually did restart because the voltage was wrong. So, that was my mistake, then overlook. After that, I actually did a lot of different tests. We did MEM86 tests for the RAM. We did, um, I swapped the SSD with a completely different drive and that didn't work and also different uh, um, windows. Let me just log back in. I'm going to restart the Eugene Valley benchmark. So yeah, I did that. I also swapped the GPU with an um, GTX 970. That still didn't work. I also got a different RAM, which I confirmed twice with uh, benchmarking from MEM86 tests, and that also did not work. And what else did I do? Uh, disconnected all the drives, disconnected all the USB ports, and plugged one at a time. Everything was giving me a basically a restart. So in the end, I also did some uh, Prime95 benchmarking, and that also failed. So in the end, I had to restart the whole testing because I've always mentioned to you guys, it is very similar to our troubleshoot video that we did. You have to be very methodical when it comes to testing and eliminating one issue at a time. All right, so we are restarting Eugene Valley and I am now confident that this will not crash anymore because I've done this test a couple of times now for a lot longer, for about half an hour to one hour and this will run no problem in the background. I have also disconnected the sound by the way, okay? So now this power supply is VS550 from Corsair. It is not uh, modular. This one is 750. It's actually more powerful, okay? The original one, which is problematic. Just to show you, although the 550 is quite adequate for this system, unless if I overclock. Now I'm gonna check my timer. I don't think I started my timer. No, I did not. Do you know how much time we got left on there? Two minutes. Okay, we've got two minutes left. So guys, uh, what I'm going to say to kind of end this because I have to upload this in one shot is what we're going to do next. I can't do it in the next few videos. I am going to take off this power supply, the original one, which is causing problems, the CX750. And we're finally going to be doing other channel for the first time. We're going to open it and look at the components inside because I believe maybe it's a bad capacitor and we're going to attempt to repair it because in the meantime, I'm going to plug this 550 back into my system so I can crack on with the work and edit some videos and give you guys some more uploads. But yeah, so I'm sure you guys want to see because some of you have asked me to do a, an advanced troubleshoot and repair of an actual power supply inside the components. So if you guys want to see this, I want you to comment below that you want to see me 
open this power supply, the original one, have a look at the components and attempt to repair it so we can save some money and also teach you something. I'm pretty sure it's kind of going to be very easy. So guys, I hope uh, you have kind of benefited. I do apologize about the kind of rush uh, feel of this video. This is what it is. Also posted a tab on uh, Reddit, so I'm going to update everyone. So well done, Mr. or Mrs. She Beast or Miss whatever you are for having the right kind of idea about where it was coming from and the thing i mentioned about uh, youtube told me to celebrate with you guys for 500k of my previous video and i said it was ironical that was because that video was about a power supply dead issue so i should have known it's like youtube knew my problem was power supply it would have avoided a lot of frustration so that's what i meant by all shall be revealed so thank you so much for watching as usual you know what to do down below you can leave me a like a comment and also subscribe if you've not done so yet once again this was ash from heal my tech helping you go from newbie to techie until next time peace out